Hi, my name is Austin Piazza. I'm a demonstration teacher for history at the high school level. Uh, I just wanted to do this Google Classroom tutorial on how to make an assignment that is for groups, uh, groups in your classroom. So um, for me, when I, ha when I do group assignments, and I do group assignments usually split up into the table groups that they sit at or that they used to sit at, um, so for that, it's like, let's say I had a really long document that I wanted them to analyze, and I specifically said highlight the important vocabulary. I annotated all, I gave all the instructions in there, and let's just say it was a really long document. I'm going to quickly scroll through this just to show you how long this document is or what I want the kids to analyze. So it may be like a day thing. Um, it may be like a two-day thing, or if I might want to differentiate a little bit, I might want to split this up into group work. So I have, uh, luckily, I have six uh, groups in my classroom, table groups in my classroom, and there are six documents on this list. So if I wanted to go back and I wanted to make it a group assignment where all of the groups individually got their own task and everybody in the group can edit that task. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and you hit make a copy. It creates a copy for you. You could then rename this copy. Let's just say row for A. So row A excerpts. Okay, and then you can make another copy. Just of time, I just went ahead and just copied all of them, the same thing that I was doing, and just renamed them for each of the groups that I have. So I, I have my groups in my classroom according to A, B, C, D, E, or F. Um, and then you always want to keep your original just in case you need to make another copy for something else. So you always want to have your original, so make sure that you don't make your original one of the ones that you're sending out to the kids to edit. So then I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Classroom. And this one is specifically in my first period. So if I wanted to give this task to my first period, I would go to classwork and say if it was in it was within week one. So you would create the task, create the assignment, and in here you're going to populate what the assignment is. So I would say mind comp group analysis. And then you would type in the instructions. Again, in the interest of time, I just went ahead and typed in my instructions. So I went by your table groups and made sure that they were aware of which document that they were supposed to read. So group A needs to read one, B needs to read two, C needs to read three, and so on and so forth. You might also want to, if you're going to do this by group, if you're going to, if you have your groups in your classroom, you might also want to upload your seating chart just to make sure that the students know. Uh, remember where they have sat before. It's been a while uh, since we've been in the classroom. Um, and then I have the individual assignments that each kid will do. So ones and twos within their groups. Each group has six students. So ones and twos will do something specific. Threes and fours will do something specific. Fives and sixes will do something specific. And then each of them will have an exit ticket that I'll attach via Google form later. So Going back to adding um, so that every student could access, every student in the group can have editing rights over the document. So if you hit add and you go to Google Drive, here you can find all of your most recent, uh, kind of the most recent documents that you've added here. So you can see all the ones that you've added last. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight every single one of them except for the original because we want to keep that original. So C, D, E, and F. And I would hit add. Okay, and so it's all here. Now notice how the default is students can view file. So if you want to change that to edit file or make a copy for each student. This make a copy for each student would be good if you wanted each student to have their own individual copy. But when you're doing group work and you want them to work on the same document, you want to make the document for them and just give them editing rights over that document. So students, I'm going to go ahead and say students can edit the file and I'm going to do it on all of them. 
That way when you publish the assignment, you can, um, the students can edit the same document in their groups and so they could be able to work that way. Now something that you have to be aware of is attaching this to more than one classroom. Because this is one document and students can edit the file, you can't really go here and add it to other classes that you have because all of the groups, all of group A of all seven of my periods will have editing rights over this one document. So if you want to do it for each of your classes, I would go in and make an A, B, C, D, E, and F for every period and maybe organize them that way. So you can put all of these in a folder and say first period. You can just put all of these on a folder. And then do the same thing over again for your other classes. That would be the easiest way if you wanted to copy this. But I would not uh, copy it, copy this straight assignment for all of the periods. Otherwise, you're going to have six periods of group A's working on the same document. So that's how to do that. Hopefully, you learned something. Have a nice day.